The Victorian Gold Rush is also known as the Australian Gold Rush because it was the first major gold rush in Australia. A major find was first announced on 12th of February 1851 when prospector Edward Hargraves claimed to have discovered a goldfield in Bathurst, New South Wales. The New South Wales government announced Edward Hargraves with $10,000 for this find. This finding of gold was soon surpassed by the size and extent of gold mines discovered in the towns of Ballarat and Bendigo. The diggers, as the miners were also known as, were expected to buy a miner's licence to be renewed every month for 30 shillings each. This was a large sum in those times, and many tried to avoid paying the fee. Taxes like these and other such governmental restrictions, coupled with the hard living that the miners had to make, led to many rebellions and protests from the miners. Between 1851 and 1854, tension was building on the gold fields. Clashes between the miners and the authorities became more frequent while significant discontent brewing over the injustice of the goldfield licensing system and police corruption. At Ballarat, the tension was rising quickly. The Ballarat Reform League was under the leadership of an Irish engineer, Peter Layla. His fellow rebels were a passionate and colourful bunch, including a range of cultures from Prussian, Italian to Scottish. In December 1854, 1,000 men gathered at Eureka, on the outskirts of Ballarat, and they unfurled their flag, a white cross and stars on a blue field to proclaim their oath. In a tragic climax to the rising tensions, troops from Melbourne overran the stockade and killed 22 of its defenders. Juries in Melbourne refused to convict the rebel leaders who were put on trial for high treason. A royal commission condemned the Goldfield administration and the miners' grievances were fixed up. Their demands for political representation were also met. Within a year, Peter Layla, the leader of the rebels, became a member of the Victorian Parliament. The Eureka Stockade was a crucial stepping stone towards democracy for the country. Although the battle was lost, the war for the greater quality of the miners was won. The licensing system, altered and changed, allowed miners to buy a cheaper licence for a longer period of time. There was a vast implementation of the Victorian Constitution, which had been approved by British Parliament, which allowed Peter Layla to become a member of the new district of Ballarat. The Eureka Stockade is now viewed as the birthplace of Australia's political system, with the full extent of its impact ranging from the freedom of speech to the right to vote equally.